the DRC's Grand Inga hydroelectric project straddles the mighty Congo River. It is considered by experts as big enough to power half of Africa. The Inga 1 and Inga 2, along with the yet unrealized Inga 3 dam, are part of the dream of the Grand Inga, a $50 billion project that could eventually produce 44,000 megawatts of energy. Inga 1 and Inga 2 were completed in 1972 and 1982, respectively. But the remaining phase has languished due to years of conflict and misrule. Recent deals have reignited hope for the Grand Inga. If realized, it could dwarf all other hydroelectric projects in the world, including China's Three Gorges Dam. The sector energetic, energy electric, don't care. The energy sector is an economic pillar. When one has energy, you can afford to spur economic development. For us, it is very important that the Inga 3 project, which dates back a long time, be put in place in a way that can increase the production capacity and which is deserving of our clientele. In February 2012, the plan for Inga 3 fell through when the dam's main source of cash, an aluminium refinery planned by BHP Billiton, was shelved. This led to a year of talks and an eventual deal with South Africa agreeing to buy half of the power produced from Inga 3. To realize the dream of harnessing the Congo River's enormous energy at the Inga Rapids, the government has raised one-third of the required $6 billion for Inga 3 and hopes the gap will be filled by the World Bank and other financial institutions. It was planned that we work in phases. The first phase were the two central ones. The second phase was Inga 3 and Grand Inga, but they are dragging their feet a lot. There has been a lot of the same studies done on a lot of variants. But now we are doing a feasibility study financed by the World Bank. And if all goes well in 2015, we will start the work. Despite Congo's massive power potential, only 9% of its 72 million inhabitants have access to electricity, and the nearby capital suffers frequent blackouts. The government hopes to choose a consortium to build the dam by April. Construction of the first phase would then start in October 2015 and take five to six years to complete. Maria Galang, CCTV.